We all know the Dwarf 2 telescope is great, but on those nights when you don't necessarily have a nice bright star to point at, that autofocus can still struggle a little. So using the Batonoff mask, I've actually been designing specifically for the Dwarf with a 1.25 inch threading for the Dwarf 2 filler adapter. And I've been testing it with different sizes of filament arms to give you different star shapes for focusing it in and out of focus, to get that perfect focus. So it can be hard to get the manual focus with the Dwarf. Unless you've got absolutely the best focus, you're not gonna get the best image. You're gonna spend hours imaging and stacking and it's all gonna be slightly out of focus. I wanna show you what I've been doing, developing this to the 1.25 inch back of mask for the Dwarf 2 telescope. Um, and you're gonna see what I've been up to. I've been at it for days and days and I think I've got the one I want. So, um, and I'll be making it available to all my YouTube uh, viewers who are watching this video. Uh, there'll be a link in the description, so if you want to go and get one, you can. Uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later in this video. So with that being said, let's go. So you're about to see me design and manufacture, actually get ready to post out the Batonoff mask that you see me making here in this video. I'm really, really happy with it and I'm happy with the quality of the image it gives you as well. You'll see that when you see me testing it, when you go on and purchase the Batonoff mask and I'll get that sent out to you first class. Here is the process of me designing and uh, producing this Batonoff mask and the results that we had when testing it. So I hope you like this video, keep watching and you'll see how I went about the entire process. Here you can see I'm in the Dwarf 2 app and I've focused on a relatively bright star. I uh, tried the autofocus here and uh, that's really the, the best that we can do. So I've just put the mask on here, yep. And we can see the image that the mask has given us. I'm going to increase the exposure, I should say. Just a little bit here so we can see this a little bit better now you can see after the autofocus we are not in focus i'm adjusting the up and down focus here to move the central line of the baton off image left and right to get that right in the middle so i know that my star is completely in focus so my background now should be in focus the night sky and all the objects in it now that that's nicely into the middle just doing some final last adjustments here and now I'm quite happy with this we can see here how nicely the Batonoff mask has given us Batonoff star and how nicely we can see when it's in focus of that central line 
making sure that it's completely and exactly in the middle so that when we take the mask off we'll have the focus we need for some great astral imaging okay so i've just removed the back and off mask and we're looking at the night sky using the dwarf too and we have a lovely sharp focus as you can see here even if smaller fainter stars are visible and not blurred out in any way okay so as i said earlier if you'd like to order this bath knock mask i'll get it posted out to you uh, in a nice jiffy uh, with a thank you card say thank you very much for ordering this from me and support my channel it really does help me support my channel so if you like this product you can go to my ebay page uh, and you'll actually get uh, not one but two bath knock masks and i don't know if you can see there i'll try and make it nice and close there's two there they're obviously both 1.25 inch threading for the dwarf to a filter adapter but what i've done is i've created different sizes of filaments on the bath knife mask one is 0 0.9 mils and the other one is 0 0.7 mils depending on how bright the star is that you're trying to focus on uh, one does slightly better than another because one will look through more light another one lets through a bit less light so having two there will allow you to use whichever one is working best as you're trying to focus on whatever star you're using to focus on. So, the other thing you can do is you can sign up to my Patreon. Uh, my Patreon is a new Patreon, obviously I'm just a small channel. Again, that helps me support my channel and allow me to keep going and try to post quality content for you. You can actually get the STL file, that's the STL 3D printed file for both these masks. If you have your own 3D printer, you can then print them out yourself. You will find, however, uh, you do need a resin printer, your typical filament style 3D printer, ABS and PLA printer are just not good enough for the resolution required to print these masks off. Uh, if you're a Patreon, uh, to say thank you, you can download these STL files and you can print this off yourself. So that being said, thanks very much and remember, don't forget to look up because you just don't know what you're going to see. Thanks very much, take care, I'll catch you in the next one guys.